Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, find the signal flow diagram from a given state space. So this is our state space here, x dot seven one zero three minus three two minus one minus one zero two and etc. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to expand out these terms here because they're representative of um, more than just x dot and x1. So let's go ahead and expand it. So this x dot is actually x dot 1, x dot 2, x dot 3. And you know that the x at the top just means it's a the first um, differential. Okay, so that's, we've expanded this first x, so let's just go ahead and write the rest of the matrix. 3, 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 0, 2. And then we'll expand this x, so it's actually representative of x1, x2, and x3. Then we have plus 1, 2, 1, r. And then we'll, we'll leave this section for after we've completed this one. Okay, so the first section, the way little um, thing we have to work out is um, we have to times this matrix by this one. And just like a quick note before we go on, that it, um, it is these top rows are all in terms of this first x dot one, and the second row is all in terms of this x dot two, and the third row is all in terms of this x dot three. So let's um, write down what our uh, equations will be. So we just know, we've got an eye on where we're going. So x one equals our equation x dot 2 equals and x dot 3 equals. All right, so let's work on our x1. So our x1 is these top, this top row times our column here of x's. So the way this works is that it's 7 times x1, 1, times x2 and 0 times x3. So when we write that down, we get 7x1 plus 1x2 and 0x3. So we don't have to write that. So then for our second row, for our x dot uh, 2, well, we're focusing on this row. And so and for this one, it's much the same. It is minus 3 times x1. Our minus 2, I mean, I'll just, sorry, our 2 times our x2. And our minus 1 times our x3. So we can write that down again. Minus 3 x1 plus 2 x2 minus 1 x3. Of course you can write it without the 1. Now that we have our first two terms we can go ahead and do our x dot 3. So that's our this last row. So same again. Our 1 times x1, our 0 times x2, and our 2 times x3. So when we write that down this minus x1, um, 0x2, so and then plus 2x3. Okay, so then there's one other little thing that we have to do, and it's associated with this r term here. So it's the same here, all of this top row is associated with x dot 1, all of the second row is associated with x dot 2, and all of the third row is associated with the x dot 3. 
So we'll do the same thing here. It is one times out. Two times R, and one times R. Very easy, that bit. But now you just gotta remember to put the right ones in the right equations. So, plus R, plus two R, and plus R. There we go, so we have our first equations from this. Now we've got to go and expand this, this section here. So I'm going to write it all out again, and I'm going to expand it like we did the whole x terms up here. So we have y equals 1, 3, 2. Then we expanded like we did before x1, x2, and x3. There we go. And so let's write our y equation down here. And start timesing out our um, matrix again. So we have 1 to x1. 3 to x2 and 2 to x3. So now we can go and write this down. We have 1 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 2 x three there we go now we have all our equations we can go ahead and write our um, signal flow diagram so what we're going to do is um, when we're writing our signal flow diagram we're just going to start off with our terms so this is all of the x's uh, x dot x's all of the x's just the x's um, the y and the r so we're going to start with R at our end. I like to put them in a little circle just so it's less messy. Um, so then from our R we work backwards from um, x dot 3. I don't know if you can see that little 3 right there. Then we alternate between our dot x's and just our x's. So our next little circle would be just x3. Then after that, we'd go again and it would be x dot 2, then just x2, then x dot 1. x1 and then our last dot our last little is just y so that's the start of our signal flow diagram and then you can abbreviate them but it, i find it much easier just to have them all laid out and then you know you're not missing any steps or you're not accidentally misunderstanding something i just i find it much easier okay so we go from our x1 we have our 7 to x1. So we're starting at our x1. So for our x1, we have, let's start with our first term, 7x1. So we need to go to x dot 1 from here. So I'm going to put a little line and an arrow, don't forget. And then we'll put 
seven next to this line. So that represents the seven X one over there. Now our next term is X two. And since X two is right next to it and we're going in the left to right direction, we can just put a little arrow here and we could put a one here. You can leave out the one. Normally if it's just a line. People assume it's just one, but just so you don't get confused, put the one there. Okay, and then we have our plus R. So we need to draw a line all the way from our R to our X dot one. So all the way over here. And we can put a little one at the top. There we go, that's our first equation done. Now let's do our x dot 2. So our x dot 2 is over here. Our first term is minus 3 x1. So again, we'll come from this minus 1 bubble to our x2, just like that. And then we'll put the term is minus 3. Then our next term is plus 2 x2. So since we're going this way, which is against the, the signal flow diagram, which is all supposed to be going this way from r to y, we're going to have to do another little um, loop-de-loop -loop line instead of a straight line like we could do here. And then we'll just put that as 2. So then our last term is minus x3. So since it's here again, we can just put a straight line here. And just put a, a little minus 1. There we go. It's our second equation done. Our third one, our x dot 3. We have minus 1 x1 so we need to have another line all the way from this term to here so let's draw that all the way and just put a little minus 1 our next term is 2 x3 so again we can't go in this backwards direction so we have to do another line like that and put our 2. Then we have, oh sorry I forgot in this equation we need our 2r so we need our r coming to our x dot 2. Put a little 2 there. Okay so back to our x3 equation, we need now just one r. That's easy, and in the direction, just put a 1. Now we're almost done, just have to do our y equations. So y, it has 1x1, one one. so put a little line this way, very easy, because it's in the same direction, and a 1. Then 3x2. So from x2 all the way to our y, put a 3 there. And then we have 2x3. So from our x3 till all the way over at our y. Yeah. It doesn't really matter if you go above or below, but some people might prefer that it's all below or all above, but as long as you know where you're going and it's clear, it shouldn't be much of a problem. So that's 2x3. So I'll put a 2 there. There we go. We're almost done. We've done all three or four of our equations, but we still don't have our connecting lines every, um, every other uh, circle here and so 
those ones, it's very easy. If you just remember, after all you've done all of your equations, that if you've still got gaps in between your connectors, you just draw a line in last so you know which ones are left and they're actually 1 over s. So now that you've done all your equations, you've got these left, you know that these ones will be 1 over s. Oops, s not 3. There you go. There's your single uh, signal flow diagram or graph from your given state space. There you go. I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it.